people are running 25 minute ticket times and the food still isn't out. They're running around insanely trying to figure out where the food goes. Tim has put up 18 tickets and half of them didn't make it to the table. This is a complete failure. It's just mistake after mistake. This is just a complete disaster. I'm gonna call this, Ryan. We're done. Dan, I want you to please tell everybody we're closing it down. Apologize, tell them we're closing and ask them to come back in two nights. Thank you guys so much for coming. Ready, guys? Let's do this. We got it, girl. Let the fun begin. Ladies and gentlemen, please come inside. Hey. What's up, guys? I went in and had some fun, dang. Hey, guys. How are you? I'm good. A mule, okay, and for you? Me too. A mule for you as well? All right. Sweetie pie. I'll do the confetti burger. Confetti burger? I'll also do the burger. They have exactly the same thing. <laughs> what about you? I'll do the Okay, here we go, ladies. Yeah. Why don't you put your stopwatch on for me? I want to see how long it takes you to get a drink, okay? okay. All right. Good job. Thank you. Too much. Too much? That's half ounce. Okay. Let's try again. Okay, so we got two of you guys on one workstation. That's right. So obviously, Bianca, this doesn't work, correct? Yeah. So you're just gonna keep tripping over each other all night long? Yeah. So what kind of wings? Garlic parm? Yeah. I want to order a fries, too. Side of fries. Yeah, we do. Dude orders there. I've greeted people, told them to please be patient. I'm just waiting on drinks. This burger is miles away. Do you find it slightly difficult to cook on this grill considering the lack of heat? Yep. Chuck, nothing works. We have to keep a sheet pan to keep the grill warm. It's just like boiling the burger. So half this grill doesn't work? <laughs> no. This side doesn't even seem hot. It's not. No. And I can't use the flat top because it doesn't keep a temp. That's the only cooking surface you have now. As, yes, yes, sir. And it's not hot enough. It's gonna take those burgers, what, 25 minutes to cook? Giant burgers. We're already screwed and we haven't even started. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Is there something I can get you? Regular wings. We gotta be much faster than this. Let's go. Whose order did you just take? Just the two of you? What did you order? Apple sour. Who else wants an apple sour? Anybody else? Want? One, two, make me four. One, two, three, four. Come on, let's move this along here. So what, what does the second fryer not work? No. You have 40 wings fired and eight French fries. So you can't fire the French fries till the wings are cooked. Well, this, this is what I go. The general rule of thumb is you want to have the food out within 15 minutes. We're already at 11 minute ticket time. How long have you been waiting? It's been like 15 minutes. 15 minutes already, the food should be coming out, you would think. Or drinks, or at, drinks. Least. at least. At least. Drinks, yeah. for sure. For at sure. least. We're running way behind. Yes, we are. Do you guys have a service bar or service bar tickets? We don't you just call in. You just call here. in. Yeah. Does anybody at a table have a drink? You guys do in the back, don't you? Yes. Are you going to share those with everybody else? <laughs> Nobody else has a drink back there. Come on, Scott. guys. We're never going to get there one at a time. Go, 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 go. Come on, Scott. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. So they can't serve this room. There's only 40 people here. Can you imagine if it was full? Absolutely not. These poor girls are set for failure. Drinks are being delivered here even though they ordered No, firm. I'm aware. I have eight meals I need made, and I have one apple sour I need made. I was waiting for them to clear their tickets before I told them because there's no point in telling them mid-drink. But the, the tables are being served out of sequence then. They are. So, so, so think of how frustrated they oh. are. Where are you guys up to? 1840. Right. So I think you owe them an apology. Guys, I'm sorry for this. We're doing our best, but it's it's not good enough. Thank you guys. I'm sorry again. 70 wings need to be in that one little fryer. How are we doing? So John, check this out. So first ticket in, still hasn't gone out. 14 minutes already. Burgers miles away from being cooked. He's gonna fire 50 wings, eight so French fries, 89. eight orders of tacos in one fryer, because the other fryer does Doesn't not work. work. No, so doesn't it's work. not even. So it can't happen. It's a, no, it this can't is happen. a joke. Scott needs to see this. I only can do what I can do. Come on, Scott. Yes, sir. I want you to see what's going on back here. This doesn't get the temperature. He can't really cook on it. Half this doesn't work. This side, if you put your hand in front of it, it's not even gonna get to a sizzle. So these burgers are gonna take a half hour to cook. Think about this, we have no grill, we have no flat top. So we don't have a second yeah. fryer. So Scott, we can't succeed. We can't possibly succeed. And I beat the hell out of him last night, and I should have, because the kitchen was dirty. Yeah. Yeah, you but are. tonight, none of this is on him. It's all on you. So yeah. this kitchen is closed down. We're unable to serve food tonight. Okay. I got it. Complete disorganization. None of the equipment is working in the kitchen. I can't get any food out at all. I can't get drinks out. This one got to go. This business has no leadership to lead it. Complete failure, 100%. This is going to be a white flag.
Scott? Yes, sir. Listen up, everybody. I don't do this often in Bar Rescue, but I'm doing it tonight. Oh, no. Oh. It's a white towel. Oh. It's a white towel. This is one of the worst failures I've ever had as far as a business operation is concerned. So finish your drink and get out of here so I can rip this place apart. Thank you, everybody. Apologize. Guys, I'm really sorry that it happened this way. We failed. We failed in the kitchen, we failed behind the bar. But I know exactly what I need to be doing to help the business really succeed. Good evening, welcome everybody. Welcome to AJ's. Come on in, let's eat. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Thank you. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. What would you like to try tonight? The bait brisk is really good. I'll try that. Well, here it goes. We're slammed. Everybody's looking at the menu. Everybody's staring at the bartenders. Now the bartenders need to step up, get the orders in. Let's see what happens. We have a table sitting here, table sitting there that doesn't have any service, so we need to hit those, like, right now. Getting food orders? I uh, not yet. In. I just okay. got the drinks. I got food orders in now. They're waiting in the kitchen. Any orders in there? Uh, I just right sent two you. back, and okay. I know Shannon sent one out. Okay. Yep. Elderberry. Oh, yeah. Order in. Spritzer's awesome. Order in, man. Now, Alex, how we doing? Pretty good so far. Okay, so I noticed you didn't season the side that you dropped on the grill, did you? You didn't, did you? It was the force of habit. Let's get this right, right? Yeah, yeah. Those are off. the details that'll make Pull a difference. Off. Pull it off. Okay. Start okay. over. Let's do it right. We're behind on tables. So what are they supposed to do? I need to ask. Elaine, when you get a food order, what do you do? Do you write it on the ticket? Write it on the ticket, take it to the computer. Over yep. here? Um, this one? This one doesn't work very well. Okay, so you take it to that one? Yes. And then you send it to the kitchen? Yes. But what is this for then? This is because we're taking drinks out because normally we all do our own drinks. So, so normally you would go out, do your own drink, come, come in and, and make it? Our drink and then we take care of our own tables. But since we're doing it how everyone's coming in, Okay, we're trying to figure out another way, and that's where you kind of went today. So I want to understand something. So in the past, each girl would leave the bar, get an order, come back and make her drinks. That's correct. There's, there was never been a consistent bar. Yeah, you know that's crazy. You know that's crazy. Set it off to your side so your blackened fish is ready and your pulled pork's ready. So we don't drag food. Crazy. Yeah. Like, they still don't have drinks over there? Zero so what drink. happened to that table, actually? They still don't have drinks? Uh, they're working on them. So how long have you guys been waiting? Half hour? So we're failing. Totally. So guys, totally. we have tables we haven't served in a half hour. Where are our systems? How do we know what's going on here? First in, first out. There needs to be some logic. You guys haven't been served food. You guys haven't been served at all either. I, I, guys, we, we can't succeed like this. It's a freaking, excuse me. It's a free for all. Your rail is full. Now, who's going to pick this food up, man? The systems out there are just non-existent. There is not one system in place that causes anything to happen. They don't know how to take a food order. They take a drink order, come back 15 minutes later and take the food order. They put them all in at once, and this is what happens. They kill you guys because they don't know how to do it and stage it correctly. It is so disorganized out there. Alex, I hope the food lands in the right place. I have huge respect for police officers and police veterans. Huge respect. So I don't want to scream, I don't want to yell, I don't want to diminish Jerry, I don't want to take his dignity away from him. But if he doesn't step up, he's gonna lose everything. I just told him, and I'm gonna tell him again and again, and I'll get louder each time, Jerry needs to be the enforcer, or he's gonna lose everything. Come on, let's tighten this up. Please get these people food and drinks. Two dashes. Let's do uh, agave. All right, we got to eat. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, okay. That's all right. Ready? Yeah, let me just hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me get up. Let me get up slow. All right. Got it? Yeah. I saw this burger cooking on the line, so I know it's not right. And here's the reason why. The top of it is so charred from that burnt up, dirty grill that it's like a hockey puck, this thing. Look at that. Does that look appetizing to you? No. No. A lot of work to do. Patrick. Yes, sir. Can you come out here for a minute? Yes, sir. Come with me. 
this is an edible. Okay. I mean, I even showed it to the, these are your regular customers. They even showed it to them and I said, do you want to eat this? They said, no, look at that. And if you take a bite in it, it's like biting into a piece of leather almost because it's been pressed and pressed and pressed and pressed. It doesn't even have the consistency of a burger anymore. Terrible. So guys, I got to get this team trained. I got to get you up to speed to elevate all of this. And I got to make you the enforcer. And we got 24 hours to do it. You in? I'm in. Hell okay. yeah. Let's close this down. I've seen what we need to see. Let's go to work, guys, okay? okay. Shut yes, it down. All right, folks, we're going to shut it down. I'm sorry. Please come back Friday night. Hopefully we'll do better. The stress test tonight, I want to see Greg manage. I want to see the place be organized. I want to see the bartenders be fast. I'm gonna put about 12 people in that bar tonight. That's it, because of COVID restrictions. They should knock it out of the park tonight. So we're not gonna open the kitchen tonight because we gotta get another person here. I want you guys to focus on the bar tonight. Make sense? Yeah. Watch them on pours. If a drink doesn't look right, dump it. Make them do it again. Okay, guys? Let's get ready. Awesome. Welcome to Champagne's. Come on in. How are we doing? Welcome to Champagne's. How are you doing, guys? Can I get that between the sheets? Between the sheets? That sounds like a good one. Ah, oh, man. Go on. Let you, let you, let you, let you. Chris, what are you doing wrong? Uh, I'm forgetting steps. One, two, three. Great. What is he doing wrong right now? You've already got the ice in. Oh, I got the ice in. You've already got the ice in. You've got to them. Yeah, do it. Nope. Sorry about that, guys. Chris has already dumped one out. He's starting over again for the second one. Sorry about that. Riley, you got him you quicker. All right. It's the same drink. All right, let's go. Come on, guys. Chris, what are you doing wrong? Why? Greg, what is Chris doing wrong? I... You got to muddle before you put anything else in there. You extract all the juices out of there, right? Uh, Please restart. Let's do it right. That's what we learned, right, Greg? That's right. Watch your bartenders. Okay. I need you, you to make sure that you catch that, not okay. me. I was just getting crushed myself. I could not figure out how to try to keep up with all the drinks and watch my bartenders at the same time. What's Chris doing wrong? Uh, did, did he put the vodka in? I did. Oh. Or did he put the gin in? Ooh. Did you say the gin? Or did he? Wow. I didn't see, see my eyes are on it. Your eyes need to be on it, Greg. This is what I'm talking about. If I'm not here, who's gonna be watching this? Man, so I'm coming, man. Sorry about that. Chris, I want you to focus, brother. Take a deep breath and focus, all right? Gotcha, man. Chris hasn't gotten one drink out. Yeah. Two, three, four. I know. You look like an old lady oh. trying to stir a cocktail. That's not how I train you, bro. Come on. <sighs> Nobody has a drink. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. These two girls, look at how depressed they look sitting and waiting there. I got two between the sheets coming up for you right now. Let's move, let's move, let's move. How many orders you got in your mind, Greg? This one. <laughs> you just have one order? I just have one order. Come on, dude, you gotta pick it up a little bit more than that. All right, so two Manhattans and then I owe you a Sinatra. One of the first ones here. I'm gonna go inside and see what the hell's slowing this all down. There we go, no. baby. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Move it, guys. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. We got clean glasses? The glasses? Yes. So we only yeah. got one. Chris, we need our gloves. Yeah, I don't have that same glass. They take that towel that's sitting there. And he dries his glasses. Oh my god. I did not even see that. Stop! These towels, what are they used for? I was using them for the to wipe down the... To, to dry the glasses. Yes, sir. You dry a glass, sit it on top before, take it, dry a glass, sit it on top. Uh -huh. So what happens with this? Yes, sir. Cross-contamination, right? Cross-contamination, yes. That was a huge mistake. That's a huge no-no. I should have I should have known that. It's just when you're in the weeds, you, you kind of get caught in the moment. I'd like to think that we don't have to dry our glassware, that we can drip dry them like other places. Right. We need some more training on that. Yes, sir. Good? You're missing a drink, though. Oh, you're still missing one. Well, how are your drinks? Ghostly. Ghostly. Our orders are Ghostly. <laughs> so nobody's yeah. even taken your order no. yet? Has anybody taken your order? Not yet. Not yet. So can you scream, Greg? Greg. Let's call all call them together. One, two, three. Greg. Greg. We got to get an order on this table here. We're coming right for you guys. There's a lot of work to do on accuracy and speed, both. We only have about 12 people in here and we're sinking. Can you imagine if this was full on a Friday night? It would be a total fail. 
Yeah. It's amazing chaos back here, isn't it? The stations aren't set up with any pivot. No. Here we go. The bartenders should have everything they need within a two foot radius and just kind of move right within that area. Yeah. And pivot. Yes. We got no pivot in here. Stop. What are you doing? I was actually just trying to do this. What? Are, no, no, man. We don't stir cocktail with it's the freaking spoon. spoon. We have a bar spoon right here. It's so unprofessional, though, man. It's true. You're turning us into a truck stop here. We're trying to have a little class here. Do better. You want what? The, oh, Greg, this customer is a little concerned about this huge piece of dust that's hanging over her drinks. Greg? Do you see this? I see it. That was nasty. Great, now let's wipe up Good. the bar, get both of them some fresh drinks, and oh, let's hustle. Cool. Come on, guys. Yeah. This is disgusting. Filth is the one thing that turns everybody off, doesn't it? It is yes. Suddenly you don't want to touch anything, drink anything, see anything. So there it is. Okay, guys, let's start closing. I've seen what I need to see. We got a lot of work to do here. Everybody agree? Come back in two days. We'll show you how it's done right, okay? The fact of the matter is, it was a disorganized mess tonight. And for that reason, they failed. Had the bar been really full post-COVID, it would have been a complete failure. Okay, let's get this together. Make sure that table is served. Hello, everybody. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, come on in. Come on in. Let's make some drinks. How are you guys doing tonight? Do you guys want anything to drink? No, go ahead. I'm gonna do the chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles? Okay. We should be pouring, we should be shaking. What do you have with vodka? Vodka, that would be this one right here, the tropical parent. We're off and running. So it's three drinks, or three drinks and three, um, three foods. And for you, ma'am? Uh, to the milkman. There we go. This is called what? The Cuban Espresso Martini. Cuban Espresso Martini. Yes. We've got three. We've got three. We got one. He's got three. He's got one. All right, order number three. You know, chicken and waffles and a grilled loop sandwich. You know what that is? A grilled, that's it, grilled cheese. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. Seems like the floor's got a lot of water. You guys got the good seats, because no one on the floor is getting anything from the bar. Thank you, sir. This is the first ticket. Yeah, they're just all okay, so let me understand this. You made one full drink, and then to make a second one, you grabbed all of the bottles a second time and made another one on top of the first because one? Because I went and talked to them before I could finish making the two on top. But if you were making two at a time, yeah. wouldn't you have just doubled up your pour counts in the first place? That's your martini tin. Now you've got cream and everything. Ticket number right here, chicken and waffle ready to go. Server, please, at the bar. And the hot chicken and waffles. Boom, baby. Hot Can chicken grab right it? there? Yep. Here's your grilled loop. You got to make sure you take both things on the ticket. All right. Grant. Yeah. Where's this one going? That's not mine. It's got your number. I already got, that already went out. Grant, keep moving, please. I don't. What is this number? Here, did you put that in? Is my name on the ticket? No, it's not. It's Grant, but Grant oh, hasn't been taking no. orders. Then it was How in the mother of Jesus? I don't... Okay. That's Grant. Can we figure this... What? Your food's out. No solution in sight. Question. Did you guys have burgers? No. no. Uh, I know you guys didn't. You're killing me here. What the hell? All right, tell me, what's going ticket, on? It's ticket. still sitting here. Yes, it's still sitting here. I've never seen a more messed up ticket system. And now he comes in here with this machine to drop a ticket. This is the most ridiculous thing in the world. This, yes. And will that possibly come up there? No, it comes up here. here. And let me just tell you, tell you this real quick. This cat right here has done 18 tickets. 18 tickets. There's five of you out there, and you can't get the food to the table. And this cat is rocking the food out. Well, it's I know. frustrating, isn't it? Yeah. Frustrating. It's three burgers. I need to know where the burgers go. I don't remember bringing up three burgers. I remember three burgers, four chicken and waffles, all of it over here. Do we know where this food's going? I really don't know. All right. Mmm. <sighs> There's something you haven't heard in a while, a bell and hot food. Runner, 
This is our last bird. You know what? Take that. I, you just keep. I know you want to sell that one. Go ahead. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Keep being an ass. Wait, you can't walk. You just can't walk. What's wrong? Trying to make me look stupid. Ass because you don't know where the table number. No, the way you acting. Oh, it's because you actually it? have proper running management back here, and that bothers me. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I saw you cook. You can say all you want to say. Yeah, you can say I've I'm been not, in your situation. Exactly. I'm I not. have been in your situation so, before. I'm here to help you. I'm not here exactly. to be a dick. Tell me where it's going. You're going to get That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. So okay, then leave it. I'm trying to find out. Then leave it. Okay, chill. You chill. Okay. Well, we're running 25-minute ticket times, and the food still isn't out. They're running around insanely trying to figure out where the food goes. Tim has put up 18 tickets, and half of them didn't make it to the table. This is a complete failure. It's just mistake after mistake. This is just a complete disaster. I'm going to call this, Ryan. We're done. Dan, I want you to please tell everybody we're closing it down. Apologize. Tell them we're closing and ask them to come back in two nights. Thank you guys so much for coming. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.